All right, are you guys fiending for more Street Fighter 6 news like I am? Don't worry. The next official Street Fighter 6 update is guaranteed to be coming real soon in about two weeks. I think like 15 days from now or something. But the Tokyo Game Show, as we anticipated, will be the time of reckoning for Street Fighter 6. It's going to be huge. PGS is a giant major event, E3 level, especially if your favorite game is from a Japanese developer. So yeah, Tokyo Game Show will be on September 15th. And uh, Capcom has like this whole website and everything all laid out for us with, with all the info. But don't worry, I'll translate all this for you guys. There's going to be a ton of information here. So there's going to be a bunch of games. Uh, you know, there'll be like your Resident Evil DLC stuff. They got uh, Monster Hunter, you know, Mega Man, some Mega Man game I've never heard of. And of course, Dino Crisis 4. They're going to be showing more of the multiplayer. Th that's a joke, by the way. <laughs> Exo Prime in case YouTube goes crazy. Anyways, not only so if you guys are kind of like, oh well, they're gonna show a bunch of games during one day, we're not gonna get much Street Fighter 6 news, don't worry as well. There'll be a specific day the next day completely dedicated to only Street Fighter 6, and it's gonna be a long one. So this is not like speculation or theory. This is gonna be the big one. This should be the biggest info update we'll get for Street Fighter 6 uh thus far because you know, honestly, there hasn't been that many big updates. I was expecting a ton of really crazy, like, interviews and the information would be going out like nuts. Something similar to, like, Street Fighter V, but no. Uh, even with Evil, we got two character reveals and we're trying to keep it a little modest. The biggest update we got for Street Fighter VI actually was Summer Game Fest. At the very beginning, we, we got the giant info dump plus the leaks. And we even got a character reveal that following week of the reveal uh, gameplay trailer for Street Fighter VI. And that was back in the beginning of June, I remember. So three months ago, pretty much. So it's been a long time. There's like the longest three months of our lives. It feels like covering this game. We've been trying to cover so much, but at least we've been getting a lot of good uh, footage lately on the, the demo builds. So why should we be hyped guys for Tokyo Game Show 2022? I'm glad you guys asked. Let me tell you why. Using the power of Google Translate, and the Japanese Street Fighter Twitter account, I can tell you guys what is guaranteed to be shown. So on day one, on September 15th, they already confirmed there will be a new PV. What does PV stand for? I have no idea. I think it stands for promotional video. And if that does, that means we're guaranteed to see a character reveal or something to do with the new modes in Street Fighter 6. Either way, there's going to be a trailer and it's going to be new and it's going to be hype. So I'm really excited about that. Maybe we'll see like, well, if we continue on, they also said they're showing off characters and we already have seven characters revealed. They're showing off the world tour on day one, guys. We have never gotten an update on the world tour mode yet. And so that is super exciting. World tour is the main single player content for Street Fighter 6. We don't know much about it other than just what we've seen in that first gameplay trailer. Obviously, it looks like you could be customizing your own character, your own avatar, changing their appearance. It's probably a ton of DLC. Get customized moves. We saw them like uppercutting a barrel. We saw you uh, interact with other NPCs and fighting them. And uh, we know it takes place in Metro City. And they kind of leaked a little bit in interviews that uh, you'll be traveling to other places because it can't just be Metro City if it's called World Tour, obviously. And whenever they add like a big DLC pack to this game with characters, I'm sure they're going to add more areas to World Tour, but uh, this is super exciting. This is the meat and potatoes of the game, besides obviously just, uh, you know, playing online multiplayer and all that. This is strictly single player content, so very excited. They're finally going to be talking about it, so that's nice. And then they also mentioned they're talking about uh, Battle Hub. So Battle Hub is another thing they haven't even talked about. We This is the least information we got. We have even less information on this than World Tour. Uh, Battle Hub Man, the only thing we know about this is it helped us leak a bunch of characters. <laughs> we can see the brackets here, looking at the 4K screenshots on the left and seeing like a little preview of Guile and Kami. Uh, and we know there's like other Capcom machine like area here on the left side where it looks like you might be able to play some Capcom games. But this is kind of like your Arxis player lobby, but I'm sure it's going to be something even bigger than that. And uh, this might be for players that are going to want to like, you know, start a dojo bring the avatars you made from World Tour and act, interact with other people's avatars and it's going to be like the giant like, you know, Capcom community area. So this might be really exciting. 
if they show us more than just you know two guys coming up to each other with a meter stick and playing each other i'm sure there's a lot of ideas that they had Capcom's feel themselves the director has said many times that he feels like battle hub and world tour are two separate games entirely in terms of scale so let's see uh if he proves that you know proves those words correct put his money where his mouth is and we'll see how big battle hub and world tour is i'm sure world tour it will be as big as they say it will be anyways so that's day one guys already super exciting but there's more there's more guys so on day two which will be on september 16th uh they said that there'll be a giant uh broadcast dedicated strictly to street fighter 6 and they'll be talking about and they're quoting uh, using google translate the introduction of characters so that means that for example on day one if we see a new character trailer that means they're going to talk about those new characters one or two or whatever during this broadcast or they might talk about uh more kimberly and more jerry for example but it's probably going to be whatever new character they announce they said they're going to be talking about world tour on actual machines meaning that they're going to show us world tour like live they're actually going to show us in game what world tour looks like and they're probably going to run around and show us the npcs i really hope they show like the street fighter character npcs you know like chun li or luke and whatever and we can see the new areas and i hope they get as much details as possible and then on top of that, they said they're doing commentary on the world view. So I'm, I'm, they're probably going to show us like the scale, the intended scale of World Tour. So it looks like a lot of this is based on World Tour and characters, right? And they said also additional information. So additional information could be really exciting. That could mean like beta test. It could mean release date. It could mean uh, when we'll get some more news. And it could be uh, ways that maybe we can get free DLC. Who knows? Uh, there's going to be so much information in these two days. Super hype, super exciting. On top of these two days, so this is the online part of Capcom show. So on top of these two days uh, with TGS, uh, they're also going to have a public demo station of Street Fighter 6 and get ready guys, drum roll. It's going to be a brand new build. Finally, after three months, Capcom has confirmed there will be a brand new build of the game that will have all seven characters playable. So that includes Guile, Kimberly, and Jury. So this will be the first time ever we'll see a public station. If you live in Japan or if you're in the Japan area, you are super lucky. Make sure you don't miss out on this event, man. That's going to be sick. I really hope those Topa uh, Topanga guys are around the area and they're capturing as much footage as possible. Uh, they only said they have two stations, so who knows what kind of lineup they're going to have. But they have two stations, one that's going to be played on the PlayStation 5, and one station that's going to be played on PC. So that's really interesting. A PC and PS5 build, I wonder if that hints us on possibly some beta information on the game, right? PC makes me happy, guys. So yeah, uh, the show, the show itself. Um, it's gonna feature uh, producer Shuhei Matsumoto, of course, and the director Takayuki Nakayama. So those guys will be talking and giving us all the information. But there is a third name that we haven't heard uh, until now, and that's art director uh, Kaname Fujioka. I did some quick uh, quick like Google information on him, and he seems to also be the art director for Monster Hunter. So we have more names being shown up. I'm sure they're gonna go over, like I said, the characters in the world tour mode. And just seeing a new build of the game, guys, man, I want to see the balance changes. I want to see, like, did they change the cost of certain drive moves? Did they change the UI on the screen? Uh, the last time we saw an upgraded build of the game was during the Guile trailer, which was literally the same week, right? The first playable build was back in the beginning of June. That's version 0 0.1000. And I feel like we know pretty much all there is to know about that build. We cracked it wide, wide open. From just watching so many people play and pro players getting their hands on it at different events and even recently with the nyc guys having many hours to test out the build themselves it's time to move on and see what has changed uh in the guile trail we've seen the battle damage like the real-time battle damage i wonder if they're going to keep that in the game and of course we want you know a lot of people that are they want to see the the graphical details that they've improved with it uh, i want to see the new stages i want to see the guile stage again i want to see uh, that new uh, stage in that restaurant area and um, yeah there's there's just so much so much stuff they can show us with a new build and going forward I'm um, hopefully will always be this current build that they're gonna show at TGS and hopefully 
show it around the world, right? And if we do get a beta, hopefully it's this build and they don't give us the version 0.1000. That would suck, man. <laughs> so both of these days uh, for this event, they're going to run um, for 50 minutes each both days. So day one will be 50 minutes and that's when it'll be, you know, Street Fighter 6 tied with Resident Evil and blah, blah, blah. But just seeing the gameplay trailer will be hype enough as it is. They only need, you know, two minutes for that. But day two will be another really exciting day for whatever they reveal and show character wise. They're going to go through it in, in huge detail for another 15 minutes exclusively. Like I said, super hype. There's a little quote on the website that says, get a taste of fighting grounds and world tour modes with real time gameplay demo. Along with an introduction to the vision and visual of the visuals of the world of Street Fighter 6. Don't miss it. We won't guys. But keep in mind, this is <laughs> since it's in J being broadcast in Japan, you guys have to wake up really, really early. You have to be up at 8 a.m. PST on September 15th. So if you guys have like a normal like nine to five job or you guys are in school, this won't be a big deal. But for people like me that stay up all night, it's a big deal. <laughs> I'm going to have to like stay up all morning with you guys to watch this. So yeah, I guess we should talk about which characters, you know, I'm going to assume right away they're going to reveal at least one character. I think two characters is another safe bet. You know, I won't, I want to keep it, you know, leveled. But last time I, I discussed how someone looked into the website, into the source code and saw that there was actually when they changed the portraits for these characters, they saw that there was nine slots total, right? So right now we have seven characters. That means that this website's going to change for two more slots. I think it's safe to assume that we'll probably get two more characters revealed at TGS. If it's one character, it better be a really hype character, but uh, it's really hard to know who they would re reveal if they do reveal characters. I don't know what your guys' guesses are, but uh, when Street Fighter V was first announced, Kadeen was actually revealed at uh, the first TGS, and that makes a lot of sense. Kadeen was the most popular character in Japan at the time. Right, and we had Alex revealed in uh, the U.S. So this time around, I'm not sure. If I were to guess off the top of my head, I would say Kami would be a really popular character to announce on the Japan side. I don't think a character. I know a lot of people want Ken announced right now because we want to know more about Ken. But I don't think they would reveal Ken in Japan. I think they would reveal Ken in the U.S. If I were to guess, I mean, obviously, I don't know. I'm just going off speculation. Uh, another thing too, guys, is we have yet to see a grappler. We really need to see a grappler, man. Uh, we don't have any like Zangief right now. I want to see that new character, uh, Marisa. I want to see how the grapplers turn out in this game. You know, the only command grab we've been seeing basically is Jane, you know. So I want to see how they handle, especially with the, the punish counter system. I think a grappler would be perfect moment. And, it, you know, it'd be perfect also if it was like a new character like Marisa, right? Uh, or that able looking character. I think that'd be really cool so we can see it. someone brand new and a grappler at the same time. If it's two characters, it could possibly be a returning character and a brand new character. It could be like Zangi plus, you know, new character. I want to see some villains too, man. I really want to see that Aki character in JP. I think that'd be cool. And maybe if they show the world tour, we can kind of have an idea of the story they're going for in this game. That'd be really sick. But at least we're finally going to get some big information. And that means that the game is finally kind of moving along you know it seemed like the game was going at a very really slow pace when it comes to information uh you know it's been three months but they have announced street fighter 6 even before that three months ago was when we finally got to see gameplay footage so a release date would be hopefully imminent right we would know finally when it's going to be revealed at this point in time it looks like it's going to be after february but you never know right but tgs could be a cool event to announce it I'd also like to know what's going on with this beta test. You know, Capcom has to do a beta test. They need to test out those cross-play servers. We need to kind of know how it's going to perform on the different platforms as well. Capcom has to test that out. They'd be crazy not to test that out. But that all has to do with the release date. And when Street Fighter V uh, was revealed on their release date, they announced a, a beta test on pre-order as a pre-order bonus at the exact same time. So I wouldn't be surprised if Capcom's strategy was the same, but the way the additional information has been has been different, you know, for everything up to this point, you know, it's if they've been really changing it up. But uh, yeah, super excited. So yeah, the summary is that guys expect a character reveal. We're finally going to hear world tour news. We're finally going to hear battle hub news. Uh, we're going to see a brand new build. Hopefully like IG in Japan or something, get some kind of exclusive footage. We can see that in 4K. 
and they can directly capture it. Uh, hopefully we can get more information on possibly uh, a release date or the next big reveal, but this will be the biggest info dump. I'm very confident of Street Fighter 6 that we have gotten ever since uh, Summer Game Fest. So super, super exciting. And of course, I'll keep you guys posted. As long as I, you know, <laughs> wake up in time at 9 a.m., I'll keep you guys posted immediately on uh, whatever they announce. So I'll keep you guys you know, up to date on everything that is Street Fighter 6.